Hey, what is up guys? It is me, I am Tung, and today we are back with another video. And today I just want to talk about this uh, plugin tool for Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. It is very useful. It is a very useful tool in my opinion, and it's called uh, Dehancer. Now I'm pretty sure you guys all seen those Dehancer YouTube videos for filmmakers where you can, you know, create film emulations, um, play with the film grain. They recently came out with a plugin for Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. They also have this plugin for Capture One as well. Full disclosure, Dehancer did send me this plugin so I can test it out and review it. They're not sponsoring this video and they have no say in this video. I actually told them if I think this tool is useful and provides value to my viewers then i'll make a video about it and here we are me making this video so let's talk about why i think the enhancer is a great tool to have if you're a photographer let's start off with some reasons why i like this plugin first off the amount of film stock emulations you get out of this plugin is wild I get analysis paralysis every time I open up this plugin. You have about 62 film stock profiles to choose from. And the great thing about this plugin is they continue to update more after your purchase. You have uh, film uh, profiles as Kodak Vision 3, Kodak Gold, Agfa Color, Kodak Portrait 400, and the list goes on. Fuji, Fuji Eterna, as well there's like so many to choose from why dehancer and not why not just shoot film and get the real deal for someone like me i like the film look but i don't like the process of shooting with an actual film camera i respect the craft and the art of people who shoot film because you know they have to slow down their process uh, me i like technology i like speed i like efficiency of shooting uh, with a mirrorless camera i also like autofocusing and <laughs> you know there are other benefits um mirrorless cameras brings shooting on a roll of film can like net you like two to three dozen shots right so it slows down the process for sure uh for some they like that about film but not me to me shooting film is costly you know you gotta buy a, a, a roll and then you have to develop the photos uh, let's just take something like a kodak portra 400 it's selling on my local camera store at $24 plus tax which probably comes to like $27 after tax and then you got to develop them too and to for me I don't find this sustainable in the long run I don't know about you but to do this every time it adds up to a lot of money and you know I don't I don't have time to wait around for the photos to be developed I need that instant quick turnaround time and that's where this plugin comes into play they do give you the tools and the controls so that you can make it look close to film if you know what you're doing you have controls like film grain if you want small grainy shots you want less grain you want grain in your shadows you want grain in your midtones and highlights to look different than the rest you have that control there's also halation you like the highlights to give you that um, halation look with the red fringing you can control that amount too. There's also the bloom. If you're going for that diffuse look, you can control that in the bloom section. I try to stay away from the bloom section unless I have like a creative direction. All of these tools are meant to be used uh, subtly and you can overdo it real quick. I love some of the looks I've created on this plugin. I find it to be quite powerful. I think the selling point is the film grain. The film grain looks amazing. There's a nice texture to it. For me, this is a creative tool I won't be using it all the time, but whenever I'm feeling, you know, a little saucy and I want that film, filmy vibe, and this is the plugin I will go to to mess around with the controls and to dial it to get the look that I want. And, you know, I also shot with a client that said she wanted me to make the shots look more filmy, and this is the plugin that I used to achieve that look. What I don't like about this plugin is that there are not many shortcut keystroke if i want to undo or redo something i can't just do a command z or a shift command z i hope in uh, future updates they can give me something like that give me all the shortcut keys from uh, like adobe lightroom and that that would make this plugin run a lot smoother so with this plugin as soon as you finish the edit and click the ok button there's no way of revisiting that project and that sucks if you want to make more adjustments so you really got to be very sure with your edits like be 100% about it. Otherwise you can't go back to it. So I find this very annoying. Like what if you, you know, edit, edit the photo and you thought that, you know, you can make it better. You want to add a little more fi film 
grain or halation or even just wanting to change the film stock but leave the same settings there's no way of going back to it you're going to have to start another uh, session which sucks so in a sense it's sort of like film like you know if you waste a shot there's no redoing it so film guys this could be for you <laughs> In all seriousness, if you can somehow get the answer to save our settings so we can close the program, open it up for later in time, that would be great. I actually rather have like a full dehancer editing software instead of a plugin. I see the potential that this has. Maybe it could be like another Luminar in a sense. Luminar is a photo editing software that has like AI technology as its uh, differentiation. Maybe dehancer can be the same but their differentiation can be film stock profiles. Just give me the full control, uh, tone curves, and I could be using this full time. Uh, just saying Dehancer, you know, make this a full on software. But overall, I really think this plugin can be helpful to some of you guys. If you guys are achieving that film look with your edits and you don't know how, I think Dehancer could be a great starting point. And if you're someone like me, you're going to find that having Dehancer just makes sense. Uh, when it comes to achieving this look, the price is $199. And you know, if we go back to my original point about the cost of buying film and having it developed, the Dehancer is a more sustainable choice. Uh, that's just me though, you know? <laughs> um, I like what it has to offer. You guys can listen to me or not try it out and find out for yourself if it's for you. I, I do know that they do give a free trial. Uh, just know that your shots are going to be filled with watermarks. Make sure to use my coupon code at the checkout. The code is I am tongue. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to make any sales from this, but I really don't care. I think it's a cool tool to have in your creative toolbox. And if you do purchase it, you're supporting me and the channel. So I appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the shots that I've edited with Dehancer. What are your thoughts on Dehancer? Let me know down below. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and TikTok at I am tongue. That's where you're gonna see more more of me. And that is it for me, guys. Once again, my name is Tung, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye. Oh, my goodness. My goodness gracious.